Uh, you never can tell. Maybe there will be something else interesting kicking around. I could definitely use more potions. What do you got here? Nope, I don't want that. Ooh, this digs a little deeper into the earth. What is this? This looks like their pantry. Looks like it has food and stuff. It does have an arcane or an alchemy lab. I wonder if I have anything I could make, like healing potions or whatever. Damage health. Um, I have nightshade, but I don't think I have anything else I could make it with. All right, and I don't have everything to make those either, and I don't want to just experiment, so quit alchemy. Quit alchemizing, Sheldor. Let's move on. What's down here? Okay. All right, that goes out to Skyrim. Or would that, oh wait, hey, let's not let's not be so hasty. Some soul gems, another potion. It's in here. Nope. Those books are all burnt up. I don't want the iron gauntlets for sure. Uh, one piece of gold, which I suppose is better than zero pieces of gold. Uh, oh, those are good. I'll take all of them. And the child's doll. Why not? Maybe I can give it to Lucia. Or child number two, when and if child number two comes around. I don't know if I was supposed to really be using the uh, skeleton key there, but uh, I did anyway. This looks like we're back outside. All right, have we cleared this? Yep, we've cleared it, so let's just leave. We have wiped out the orc menace. There will probably be another group that will come in to here before too long and take it over. Maybe Stormcloaks, or maybe Imperials, or... I don't know, but we'll come back sometime and see. And see just who has moved in that we're not charging rent to. It really feels like we should be able to charge rent. I mean, that's ours. I guess that's probably not how real estate law works in Skyrim, but I feel like that should be ours. What, what do we have there? That's gross, but I'll take them anyway. Okay. Alright, starting to feel like there might be something else coming up again. Let's go into sneaky mode and just creep on up. It'll creep TLC style. Well, there's like a torch there. Surrounding a cave entrance. That makes me think... That's our destination. We should probably keep our eyes open. I could totally see there being, I don't know, wizards or some shit in hiding around here. Probably spiders, too. All right. Quick save and then into the Twilight Sepulchre. The only other sepulchre I know is in World of Warcraft. And when I first saw it, I thought it was the sepulchre. Great! No Joan. All right. Is it going to be this easy? Let's quick save. I don't recognize you. But I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? Uh, I'd ask the same question of you. Why can't I just say, I'm Sheldor? Okay, I'd ask the same question of you. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact... 
I'm to blame for what's happened here. Oh, uh, you probably didn't have like a cool bow. If you had Jim the bow, you might, you know, have been able to handle things. How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Dude, I have some experience with that. Then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate. Yeah. The skeleton. Hey, I feel you there. You're Gallus! I haven't heard that name in a long time. As like Obi-Wan Kenobi. How do you know of me? I have the key! The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. You can have it back. And Mercer Frey? Dead! I wasted him! Then, it's over. And my death wasn't in vain. That is true. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I should say so. Uh... <laughs> I did this to get rich. Um, I did this to honor the guild, really. You've done the guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Uh, Carlia helped. Carlia? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. I like how excited Gallus is about these kinds of things. He's a nice guy. Take the key, right all the wrongs, baby. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. Oh, but it's because you're a ghost, huh? From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. That is a drag, dude. How can a spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Ebon Air, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. Huh? When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Okay, I could use the skeleton key to open it, maybe? I'm afraid so. All right. And I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Sorry, Gallus. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the pilgrim's path to the Ebon Air and replacing the key. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's see here. Let's ask this, because I do want to know how it affects all of us, so. The Ebonir is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and return it. I am I am tempted to keep it, but I think I am going to go ahead and return it. Uh, luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell it otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How is that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Huh. That is kind of cool. All right, so with the Ebon Mirror closed, our luck has run dry. Precisely. There are a few who still call Nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Do they sing, like, songs from Guys and Dolls about her? Uh, okay, so, what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? Excellent question. I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. What? The you can't even give me a hint? Across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? I, I suppose, uh, yeah. I think I will retrieve Nystrom's journal, but for now, I'm done talking to you, Gallus. Yep, 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Let's bow out and look around a bit. Okay, so Nystrom, I think that was his name, is over here, and this is where we will find... What's he got there? Elven War Axe of Thunderbolts. Woo, we'll take that. Okay. Let's read his book. Uh, Nystrom's Journal. Here we are. I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I've yet to see even a single gold coin. To make matters worse, I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, air quotes, I've been assigned a mentor old dark elf fellow by the name of Lithellus, I think. Maybe if I act the part, I can pry some information from him about the pilgrim's path. Andrew swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within their inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path. So my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. Lithellus was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information in the Pilgrim's Path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record what I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lithellus seemed clear about was that there were five tests on the path. This is what he said about each. Shadows of their former selves, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death, swift death to defilers. Above all, they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. All right, so light is going to be something that will help us with them. Okay. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material, for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Okay. Uh, we'll have to get a little more... We'll have to do a little more research to figure out what that is. Direct, and yet indirect. The path to salvation, a root of cunning... With fortune betraying the foolish. Okay, so there's going to be like a chest or a pile of gold or something, and that is not going to be the way to go for test number three. The journey is complete. The Empress's embrace awaits the fallen. Hesit awaits the fallen? Hesitate not if you wish to gift her your eternal devotion. Okay, well, I'm not really sure about that one either. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrases like, Night is the new day. <laughs> <laughs> and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully, during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. And apparently not, because you died! But, I appreciate your, your assistance. I must be overweight again. I am. I must have for I forgot to put stuff away. Damn it. Okay. I think I have a strength potion here. Let's pound that real fast. Because I don't want... I want to be able to... Alright. So let's go... Back outside. And fast travel back home. Map. Because we can pop back there now. So fast travel to Lakeview. And then we will kind of <laughs> limp our way into, uh, into the house. And actually, I have a bunch of stuff that I think I'm going to put on the, uh, in the chest outside. All right, here we go. 
Okay. Uh, 